So the same person, Godunov, has, who has proposed the way to reconstruct the flux at the interfaces, proved an uh, impossibility theorem. He proved that it is impossible to construct a scheme that is monotonic. So monotonicity means, means the total variation is less or equal to zero, which means the monotonicity of total variation over time. Right, so so the so the total variation has to be monotonically non decrease and uh, non increasing over time. So that's what it means. And his theorem works for even the simplest conservation laws, that is the uh, linear linear advection equations. And he said a linear one step second order accurate numerical scheme, even for a linear equation, cannot be monotonic. Cannot preserve total cannot decrease total variation <coughs> unless the <coughs> CFL number is integers, which can only be achieved everywhere. For if the C is a constant everywhere, so so this condition is only feasible for constant. C, which is linear equations, <coughs> right? So an example for this is if you if this is a if this is exactly equal to one. So if sigma is equal to one, which means we are discretizing. Uh, let's let's use his notation here: phi of n plus one using forward Euler scheme minus phi of i n divided by delta t plus c, and I'm using an upwinding scheme, for example, when c is greater than 0, for the spatial derivative phi i minus phi i minus 1 n over delta x is equal to 0. So if sigma is equal to 1, that means my delta t times, times c is exactly equal to delta x which means this term is going to cancel with this term. What I get is phi of n plus 1i is exactly equal to, and this is equal exactly equal to phi of n at i minus 1. So in a space-time solution, so if this is t, this is x, I'm saying the grid points at the next time step Is equal to the grid points here, which is completely reasonable because the characteristics are exactly aligned with the grid points. So right, so the solution here is exactly equal to the solution here, and I get exact solution. But this is artificial because this scheme would only work for linear advection equations. This is I can only set my delta t and delta x to be at a constant ratio, set my CFL number to be a constant integer, only when C is a constant, right? So this is, these are special cases that I can get second order accurate numerical schemes that wouldn't work for nonlinear conservation laws. Right, does that make sense? So Goodenough's order barrier theorem says that if you rely on the linear scheme for solving linear equations, then you cannot get more than first order accuracy. If you also want to preserve uh, the, the mon monotonicity of total variation. So it tells us that we must go to a nonlinear scheme. Okay, we must go to a nonlinear scheme even for solving linear equations. And a nonlinear scheme means if you add two solutions, you get a flux that is not equal to the summation of the flux getting from these two individual solutions. 
in a finite volume, that's what it means by by a nonlinear scheme. So the Godunov theorem says that if you want second order accuracy, you can either sacrifice monotonicity, which creates Gibbs phenomenon, or you have to go to a nonlinear scheme. Only first order schemes can have both monotonicity and uh, and linear 